Hello, this is Maurice Jackson. Before we present today's interview, I'd like to remind our listening audience that I'm a licensed broker to sell precious metals through Miles Franklin, where we have unlimited options to expand your precious metals portfolio. Stay tuned to the end of our interview for contact details, and I look forward to the opportunity to speak with you. Welcome to Proven and Probable, where we deliver mining insights and bullion sales in the form of physical delivery, offshore depositories, and private blockchain distributed ledger technology. Welcome to Proven Improbable. I'm your host, Maurice Jackson. Joining us today for a conversation is Gregory Beischer of Millrock Resources. Mr. Beischer, welcome to the show. Hi, Maurice. Always good to be here. Always a pleasure to have you on the program, sir. As a reminder for our audience, in our last interview, we addressed claim staking Millrock Resources was conducting in the Good Pasture District of Alaska, which is becoming one of the most highly contested mining districts in the world. Mr. Beischer, before we delve into today's interview, please introduce us to Millrock Resources, a premier project generator, and share the investment opportunity that the company presents to the market. Yeah, sure, Maurice. We're a project generator exploration company, so we develop early stage exploration projects, but always, always uh, find partners to share the natural risk that's in early stage exploration. And that way, we're able to operate multiple projects at one time and increase our chances of uh, successfully finding an ore body that will uh, greatly benefit Norox shareholders. So uh, the latest project that we've come up with is called uh, the Good Pastor Project. We referenced the Good Pastor District of Alaska. Please provide us with some background on the district and share with us where Mill Rock has been strategically positioning itself in the district. Right. Well, Maurice, uh, you and I have had uh, several conversations about the Good Pastor District of Alaska. Right now, the best known and, and single mine uh, in the Good Pasture District is the Pogo Gold Mine. And it's a great mine. It produces several hundred thousand ounces of gold every year. And the concentration or the grade of gold is excellent. It's uh, close to half an ounce of gold for every ton that's being mined. And the same going forward. There's a new owner, Northern Star Resources, an Australian company that seems to be making great changes uh, to improve the profitability of the mine and, most importantly from our standpoint, made new exploration discoveries, one of which seems to be very, very close to the mutual claim boundary between Northern Star and Millrock. But we've staked a gigantic tract of claims covering in excess of 660 square kilometers uh, over 255 uh, square miles. So it's a major piece of land that we've acquired. And I'll tell you, it's not just moose pasture. We have uh, have a, a, a great database of information that we purchased with some claim blocks years ago. And that's paying off in spades now. What are the latest developments from Mill Rock in the Good Pasture District? Well, we've uh, been advancing the project and talking to potential partners. Uh, that would fund uh, exploration. But at the same time, we're so keen on the West Pogo portion of this overall claim block, the part that's immediately to the west of the Pogo mine, that we believe we should advance that project or that block of claims, that prospect, a little bit further before we make an agreement with another company. It could be that there's a an ore body coming from the Northern Star ground right onto our claim block. And so we don't want to give this one away prematurely or too early at too low a price. So to improve the value, we're going to put a little bit more of our own treasury in it. Uh, the thing is, we're going to have to raise money to do that work. Mr. Beischer, when the thesis makes sense, and the price is low. That's called a sale. What would you like to tell shareholders regarding the opportunity that is before us right now? Well, Mill Rock stock is on sale. Um, I mean, it's uh, painful to uh, sell stock at this price when I know the company should be worth more. But I kind of feel like it's the way things were back in uh, early 2009. You know, uh, there was a really sharp downturn in 2008, and Millrock share price got all the way down to five or six or seven cents. And uh, there was people that invested at, at that time that believed in us, 
And uh, within 12 to 14 months, our shares were trading at 80 or 90 cents. Uh, uh, of course, the market was very helpful. The price of gold was going up. Everything was suddenly great again in 2009. And uh, those folks that invested in our company in 2000, early in 2009, uh, if they had sold in 2010 or 11, made some really good profits. Uh, I think our, our share price exceeded one dollar at one point. So uh, those that invested in a nickel did pretty darn well. Um, but it's sort of a similar parallel situation now, except that I think Millrock is a much, much stronger company. We've got more experience. We've got a great team of people, and we've got just a fantastic portfolio of gold projects. And sorry about the audio technical difficulties there. I think you had an airplane above you there, sir. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Millrock just announced that you will be raising capital through refinancing. Please share the terms with us. Sure. Well, the units will be sold at seven and a half cents each. A unit consists of one full share of Millrock and a warrant to purchase stock in Millrock in the future at a certain specified price. And uh, that price uh, will be 14 cents for the remainder of this year, 17 cents for the next year, and 20 cents for the year after that. So it's a pretty darn, darn good deal uh, for the investors. That warrant uh, entices the capital to come to the company. That's why we offer that. Uh, but uh, I think it's a great deal. You know, speaking of a deal, let's let's compare that with what just occurred in uh, April with EMX Royalty. Back in July, uh, I'm sorry. Back in April, I should say, uh, Millrock Resources formed a strategic alliance with some prudent capital, and that would be EMX Royalty, as they've demonstrated confidence in Millrock's potential in the Good Pasture District. Please share the terms with us. Sure. Um, and I know that you uh, know EMX Royalty pretty well, Maurice, uh, and so do we. Uh, we admire that uh, team and the great success that they, they've had, and we hope to emulate that success. And uh, <clears throat> they're pretty darn good uh, technical team and, and uh, smart business people. And uh, I know you're actually a shareholder of EMX, uh, as am I personally. Uh, but EMX uh, invested in Millrock. Uh, they made a strategic investment. We came to them uh, with the idea for the Good Pasture project, but we needed capital to execute on the staking of the giant claim block. And so they provided that capital. In fact, they provided that capital at a premium to the market price of Millrock at 14 cents a share. But there was a catch, and that was that we had to uh, grant to EMX a modest royalty. It's not a big one, but it's uh, um, enough that uh, it uh, enticed them uh, to uh, pay the extra price for Millrock. So it was, a, I believe, a win-win for uh, our two companies. And uh, if there's an ore body on the claims that we've staked, EMX and its shareholders will benefit uh, uh, in addition to the great benefits that Millrock shareholders would get. And for the record, we participated in the last two financings with Millark Resources, and we're going to make it a third, as we will be participating in full confidence in this round of financing with Millrock. Before we close, on a personal note, uh, Mr. Beicher, a number of shareholders have been inquiring about Melanie Henderson, a valued member of the Millrock team who's been undergoing some health concerns. Can you provide us with an update, sir? Well, uh, yes, uh, Melanie uh, did have uh, surgery uh, several weeks ago now. It was quite serious surgery, but I heard from her yesterday that she's getting stronger and stronger every day, and it looks like uh, she's going to have uh, one of the best possible outcomes that, that could uh, be hoped for. So it might still be a little while before she's back in action, but we're all cheering for her, and uh, we're all looking forward to seeing her bright, smiling face again. And Maurice, uh, let me say, uh, you know, I uh, personally really appreciate uh, your continued confidence in Millrock that you'll be investing uh, yet again. And I know that um, some of your followers might also like to participate in such a financing. And if they're an accredited investor, uh, we would be glad uh, to, to allocate a certain part of the uh, financing uh, to your followers. And you're welcome to pass on uh, my email information uh, so that they can contact me if you like. We will certainly do that, sir. And for our audience members, uh, the email address is contact at provenandprobable.com. In the subject line, simply put in Millrock Resources. 
All right. And I just want to go back to, to Ms. Henderson. Um, Melanie, that was some welcome news that uh, Mr. Beister just shared with us. And on behalf of all of us, we wish you a speedy recovery and you're in our hearts and prayers. Uh, Mr. Beister, for someone listening that wants to get more information on Mill Rock Resources, please share the contact details. Sure. Well, um, you can mail email Melanie, but uh, for now, the, the email would be forwarded to me and I'll, I'll be responding. And please share the website address then for us, sir. Sure. It's just uh, www.millrockresources.com. And as a reminder, Millrock Resources trades on the TSXV symbol MRO and on the OTCQX symbol MLRKF. Millrock Resources is a sponsor of Proven and Probable, and we are proud shareholders for the virtues conveyed in today's message. As a reminder, I'm a licensed representative for Miles Franklin Precious Metals Investments, where we provide a number of options to expand your precious metals portfolio from physical delivery, offshore depositories, precious metal IRAs, and private blockchain distributed ledger technology. Call me directly at 855-505-1900. That number again is 855-505-1900. Or you may email maurice at milesfranklin.com. And finally, we invite you to visit provenandprobable.com, where we provide mining insights and bullion sales. Gregory Beischer of Millrock Resources, thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.